Hi. In this video, we'll be introducing the loop and a half. You may notice this voice is different from the voice in the other videos. That's because this is a guest lecture. My name is Calvin, and I'll be taking you through the loop and a half. So first, I'd like to revisit the infinite loop. An infinite loop is a loop that runs forever. It never stops. So this is the classic infinite loop, while true, open curly brace, close curly brace. And inside the while true loop, that code will execute forever. There's no condition that makes this loop stop. True is a Boolean expression, and it always evaluates to true. The problem here is if we have infinite loops in our code, our code will never end. Our program will run forever, and we need the program to end at some point. So what we need is a way to break out of this loop. And to do this, we use the break statement. The break statement breaks out of whatever loop it is written inside of. So this break statement will break out of this infinite while true loop. So what we can do is use a while true loop to keep running code until inside that loop a certain condition is true, at which point we break out of it. There's one more thing I'd like to introduce, and that is the sentinel. And sentinel is simply the name that we give to the value that signals the loop should stop. I've written it in all caps here to indicate that it is a constant value. It's not a variable that's changing. Uh, it should always have this value, negative 1, throughout the entire program. So let's put that all together. So here is a program using the loop and a half structure that adds up numbers. We define the sentinel value to be negative 1. That is the value that the user can input to indicate that the loop should stop. And then we're going to keep a running sum of every number that the user inputs. And then we have while true, keep executing the following code. Read a number from the user, and if that number is equal to the sentinel value, then the loop should stop. We'll break out. Otherwise, add the number to the running sum and keep going. So this is the loop and a half structure. It's a very common programming technique. Let's explore this in the editor. So we want to write a program called running average that computes the average 40 yard dash time for the user. We want to allow the user to input as many 40 yard dash times as they want until they're ready to stop, at which point we will stop the loop and compute the average and print it out to them. So first I'm going to write out just a plan for what we're going to write in comments. So the first thing we want to do is define the sentinel value that will signal the end of the user input. So define the sentinel value that signals the end of user input. And when we have that, we want to initialize the variables that will keep track of the user's running times. Keep track of user's running times. And then we want to start our loop and a half. So loop and a half to allow the user to continually input running times. Now inside the loop and a half, we want to read a number from the user, read a running time from the user. If that value is the sentinel, stop the loop. Otherwise, we want to uh, add that running time to the total running time. update the number of inputs so we can compute the average and then allow the loop to keep going. So that will keep executing until the sentinel is input at which point we want to compute the average and print it to the user. Great, so if we can just define each of these parts then the program should work. So to define the sentinel we'll say int sentinel equals negative one, that's what the user can input. Actually, let's make this a double because they will be inputting running times and those will have decimal values. Then we want to initialize the variables that will keep track of the user's running times. So we want to keep track of the total time and we want to keep track of the number of inputs. And at the end, the average will be the total time that they ran divided by the number of times that they ran. So now we'll do loop and a half. While true, we want to execute all of this code. Read a running time from the user. Double time equals read double. Input a running time. Negative one to stop. 
And then if that value is the sentinel, we want to stop the loop. So if time is equal to the sentinel value, then break. Otherwise, then that was a legitimate running time. We should record it and keep going. So total time plus equals time and num inputs plus plus. So this will keep running until the user inputs a negative one. That means they're done providing input, so we can compute the average and print it out. So the average, double average, is going to be total time divided by the number of inputs. And system.out.println average time. Great, so let's try this out. Let's say I ran a 10 second 40 yard dash and then a 5.4 second, then a 7.5 second, and a 5 second. And I'll put negative 1 to stop. And there we go, that's the average time. Let's try it again. This time, all 7s. And then negative 1. Great, average time 7. So the reason we do it this way is if we were to have the condition inside the while condition, we would have some repeated code. So if I said while time is not equal to sentinel, so time doesn't actually exist yet. So I would have to first ask the user for the time up here and then keep asking them for it inside the loop. Doing it this way with the loop and a half structure allows us to avoid that repeated code.